Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the third week of April 2022. Singer Roderick Poo Clark died April 17, 2022 at a hospital in Waco, Texas. He died of complications from an infection and pneumonia at the age of 49. He was a founding member of the R&B group High Five, who had a number one hit in 1991 with I Like the Way, The Kissing Game. Clark is being remembered for persevering after a traffic accident left him paralyzed from the chest down. Actress Liz Sheridan died April 15, 2022 at her home in New York City. She died of natural causes at the age of 93. She was best known for her role on Seinfeld as Jerry's devoted mother. Sheridan is also being remembered for playing the nosy neighbor Raquel on Elf. Hockey player Mike Bossy died April 15, 2022 after fighting lung cancer at the age of 65. He was a star of the New York Islanders in the 1970s and 80s. He set many NHL records and was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Bossy is being remembered as a fast and powerful player who refused to fight and twice won the NHL's award for gentlemanly conduct. Actor Rio Hackford died April 14, 2022, in Huntington Beach, California. He died after an illness at the age of 51. He was known for roles in TV shows including The Mandalorian, Treme, and Pam and Tommy. Hackford is also being remembered for owning popular clubs in New Orleans and Los Angeles. He was the son of filmmaker Taylor Hackford and the stepson of actress Helen Mirren. DJ K. Slay died April 17, 2022, after being hospitalized with COVID-19 at the age of 55. He was known both as a graffiti artist and as a hip-hop DJ who created hundreds of popular mixtapes. DJ K. Slay is being remembered as hip-hop's drama king for capturing notorious rap battles on his mixtapes. Singer and songwriter Paul Siebel died April 5, 2022, in Centerville, Maryland. He died of pulmonary fibrosis at the age of 84. He was part of the Greenwich Village folk music scene of the 1960s, often compared to Bob Dylan both for his voice and for his thoughtful lyrics. He is being remembered for songs including Louise, which has been performed by great singers over the years including Bonnie Raitt and Linda Ronstadt. Siebel was a U.S. Army veteran who served in Europe. Record executive Art Roop died April 15, 2022 at his home in Santa Barbara, California at the age of 104. He founded Specialty Records, where he helped launch the careers of rock and roll legends including Little Richard and Lloyd Price. Roop is being remembered for his tremendous influence on the development of rock and roll. Actress Hollis Resnick died April 17, 2022 at a Chicago hospital. She died of heart failure at the age of 66. She was one of the greats of Chicago's theater world, known for 40 years worth of amazing performances. Resnick is also being remembered for touring with Broadway shows including Les Miserables, as well as for appearing in movies such as Backdraft. Actor Robert Morse died April 20, 2022, in Los Angeles at the age of 90. He won a Tony Award for starring in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, and he went on to star in the film adaptation as well. Morse is also being remembered for his performance on Mad Men as ad agency senior partner Burt Cooper.
Reality TV star Ralph Kaiser died April 20, 2022, of a heart attack at the age of 56. He was a contestant on Survivor Redemption Island in 2011, making it to 8th place. Kaiser is being remembered for stumbling upon the hidden immunity idol and for misspelling his fellow contestants' names in tribal council votes. Dee Dee Robertson died April 19, 2022, at her home in Virginia Beach, Virginia, at the age of 94. She was the wife of televangelist Pat Robertson. They were married for almost 70 years. Robertson is being remembered as a founding board member of the Christian Broadcasting Network. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Virginia have been lowered in respect and memory of the 15th anniversary of the Virginia Tech shooting, which took the lives of 32 people. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Hope Fire Company Fire Chief Isaac David Hassan, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Tennessee have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Navy Chief Water Tender Claude White, who died in the 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor. His remains have recently been identified and returned home for burial. Flags in Kansas have been lowered to honor the memory of Dr. John Weefald, the former president of Kansas State University. Flags in Wyoming have been lowered to honor the memory of former state representative and mayor of Cheyenne, Bill Nation. Flags in Nebraska have been lowered to honor the memory of former U.S. Representative Brad Ashford. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, actress Erin Moran died of throat cancer at the age of 56. Ten years ago this week, TV host Dick Clark died of a heart attack at the age of 82. Ten years ago this week, musician Levon Helm of the band died of throat cancer at the age of 71. Twenty years ago this week, actor Robert Urich died of cancer at the age of 55. Thirty years ago this week, comedian and actor Benny Hill died of coronary thrombosis at the age of 68. Musician Charles Mingus was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 1979 of a heart attack at the age of 56. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.